hair in my eye. Hello, my name's Shai and welcome to my windy balcony. This feels like it's going to be a pretty big job today because of the size of the pot. Maybe a few things are going to move, maybe not. I don't know yet. This pot has a Dracaena plant in it, as you can see. Now I've always wanted a Dracaena plant, but I've wanted like one of those multi-branch Dracaena plants. Maybe something like this. This isn't really giving me those vibes. We went to the nursery today, which was a little bit dangerous because we did come back with a little bit of a haul. We came back with these two. Ugh. We've come back with these two Dracaena Black Knights. One of them was full priced at $60 and it was 50% off. So I was like, yes. This big one here has like three branches. And then this one here has two branches. And this is a Dracaena Black Knight. My hope is to combine these two Dracaenas to make like a multi-branch Dracaena kind of coming out of this pot all wild and then put a little succulent arrangement under it. This already has a succulent arrangement and I will be getting rid of a couple of things here that I just don't like. So yes, let's get to it. Why does it have to be so windy? So this is the Dracaena. As you can see, it has two heads. I'm keeping this because it's a cutting from my mum's place. I have a different vision for this pot. One that involves like Dracaena branches coming out from everywhere. So that's what we're gonna do. These two cacti are a little bit weird. This has remained this size for about a year and a half or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna dig this up. God, it doesn't even seem like it's rooted that much, which is a little bit weird considering it's just been sitting in that pot, rain, hail, and shine for like the past 18 months. It should have done something, right? These gorgeous Echeveria. I think these are like Echeveria minima cross laulinensis or something like that. Anyway, beautiful blue color. These can stay in this arrangement. This, I do love this, a Hawarthii of some sort, can stay in this arrangement, but we'll be chopping it off because it is turning a slight green color. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to dig it up. I'm going to cut off its roots and then I'm going to set it back in this spot so it can do its vibrant orange thing. When this gets stressed, it is so pretty. And against this blue, Ah, it's beautiful. This is a very stressed Ben Battis, and I'm going to chop off this bloom so that more energy can go into the plant here and developing that because it's looking pretty. Like, what even is that? It's a really cute clump, but like, what's it doing? This Sunburst Aeonium Crest is my pride and joy. I will be giving it a little bit more space to grow because it needs to do its wondrous thing. I mean, look at that. I actually think this would be nice a bit further towards the back of the pot so it can kind of grow tall. That's my hope anyway. These two, I don't really, this is like a Kalanchoe and an aloe whatever. They're a bit boring to me. I'm not too sure why I put them in this pot. Maybe this was a different color when I first planted this and maybe this Kalanchoe had some more flowers and I had high hopes for it to grow tall. It's not doing that so um, you can go. This is a, I, I can't remember what this was called, but it's pretty so it's gonna stay. Maybe there's a couple more things that we can put in this pot. I don't know. I'm just going to go with the vibe as I always do. So what we'll do is we'll just take everything little out first and then we'll deal with the big thing. This pot also, um, we won't be filling the entire thing up with soil. I'm just going to refresh the soil a little bit because this looks like it's very old soil. It looks like this is soil that contains the Woolworths brand kitty litter, which is made from zeolite. Friends, this is not the kind of zeolite that you should be putting in your soil. Okay? I know that on the internet, the Woolworths Kitty Litter Zeolite has been recommended, but it's not horticultural zeolite. It's a totally different thing. It's not bad for the plants, but the way that this zeolite is made, it's got nothing that helps the plants. So we've all been tricked. Anyway. Okay, so what should I take out first? Let's see if I can um, remove this cactus. This cactus looks like it was pretty... Oh, no, there's definitely some roots there. Just doesn't feel like it's a lot. All right, firstly, let's just... Okay, slow down, Shy. Just one thing at a time. Uh, 
Yeah, this can go. Do not love. Bye bye. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Aloe roots go deep. Sugar. Uh, this aloe cluster, I think I put this in the arrangement originally because it was way more colorful than this and this just looks way too vanilla and green. So I don't know, maybe I'll just take this out, put it somewhere separate and see if it stresses up on its own. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's try and dig up this. Wow, roots. So for all of the stuff that I plan to put back in this pot, I'm gonna sort of leave most of the roots intact because it's summer and it's really hot and um, I don't wanna stress out the plant that much let's have a look at this um sunburst let's see how it's growing on why is there a screw head here okay random oh oh small root system but quite pretty hey you can absolutely stay god i do love an aeonium sunburst crest i have two of them honestly you need to hold me back from buying more because there's this grower and we always we, we, we visit them at about 30 minutes from here and they always have a sunburst crest they always have a few sunburst crests and they're just every time i go there i want to buy one but it's like shy you already have two like where where am i gonna put it my balcony is so small where am i gonna put it huh and this one's pretty enough oh my god it's just so look at it look at it i freaking love this big rock in here that was a good choice but i do need to take this out wowie wow fell off i mean it's a cute little cluster but um yeah it's it's seen better days for sure so let's see what is going on with this cactus hey this was just a cutting when i first got it so it has developed some roots okay it's developed good roots that have just sprawled everywhere where does this end oh my gosh okay okay yeah why isn't it growing it's developed a pretty decent root system considering this was just a cutting but it's like it's not doing you're not doing anything are you worth keeping what about this one this one i know had a root system for sure when i put it in here and it also bloomed once wow okay that's gonna have to come out a little bit later let's tackle these first <sighs> ah. yep cool cute love it i mean these look fairly happy so i'm not i'm not gonna disturb this too much i'm gonna try and leave it as a as a clump. Wow, this Hawarthii is, oh, there we go. Whoops. That root system is gonna be chopped off because I don't like that green. Stay orange. Now, what's growing on with this cactus? Wow, can you see the soil move? What the? Okay, I'm gonna have to like go around to the other side. Get my weight behind it. I actually can't get this out. Wow, wow, this is like, this one is stuck in here too. Yeah, this one's not coming out easily. I'm gonna have to get rid of some soil. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of not interested in everyone seeing this. So yeah, I'll be back later. Okay. Okay, so I just dug up the Dracaena. What? This is the root system. Can you believe this? Is that even correct? This went in as a cutting. Uh, soil in the eye. Like that's, that's wild. What even is this? This? This has grown too. It's grown its root system, but it hasn't actually grown any taller than what it was like 18 months ago. So, a bit disappointing, underwhelming. That's the word I'm looking for. Really underwhelming performer. I'm horrible. I'm horrible to my plants. So this is what I used to do when trying to not fill up the entire pot with soil. Just put plastic bottles. <sighs> God, this wind and this soil is not a good mix. We are gonna refill this pot with uh, cut up pool noodles. Tim got the idea off the internet and I think that should fill the bottom end of the pot a lot better than these plastic bottles. And um, yeah, and we don't have to use nearly as much soil. There you go, hot tip. Ooh. Oh gosh. Wow, 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 wow. B8 juice. Water. Wow. Yes, there were a lot of bottles. We're going to continue to get rid of this soil. It's going to be super boring, so we'll be back in just a moment. All of the soil is now out of the pot, and that was a whole lot of effort that I never want to go through again in my life. We're going to put these on. So there's three holes in the bottom of this really big pot, and we're going to 
just cover the holes with this fly screen netting. Bunnings do sell filter pots. I just find this so much cheaper and more durable. Like I reuse these all the time. What I do is I layer two of these and make a crisscross pattern like this so that less soil comes out of the bottom. Now I'm just gonna fill up the bottom with soil before doing anything else so everything can be held in place. Now I'm gonna add chopped up pool noodle to this pot so that we don't have to fill the entire pot with soil. Also makes it just a little bit lighter, which we're always mindful of when it comes to this balcony. This is a modern building. The balcony is pretty sturdy and we've been told that the balcony can actually hold so much more than what we've currently got on here. But um, we're just super mindful and we'd rather stay on the conservative side of that. Yeah, so we're just gonna add this. Do you wanna watch this? Okay. So what I've done is layered the bottom of the pot with soil and then I'm going to add all of this um, chopped up pool noodle into the bottom, just like that. That's just over half full, so I think that'll do it. I'm filming inside for a little bit just to mix up my soil because there's absolutely no room on that balcony. So I've got my cactus and succulent mix. I'm gonna mix a little bit of perlite. Dusty. Woo! And this is the last my Red Rock Booster Crystals. Not sponsored by the way, but this is the correct zeolite that you're meant to have, not the Woolworths Kitty Litter. That's it. That's the cactus and succulent soil with perlite and zeolite. In all honesty, this has been a lot of effort. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like this effort. Gardening's meant to be peaceful. It's not. It's hard work. It's labor. Whoever says gardening is relaxing is lying. It's all muscle. That's my experience of it. It's muscle and it's creativity, but it's definitely got muscle in it. This Dracaena has a lot of mulch in it, which I want to get rid of. Wow, there's no space on this balcony, no space whatsoever to do these really big planters. Like, what am I doing? Again, I don't want to remove too much of this soil because it's summer and I'm just going to shove the whole thing in there. I do want to pack these two <laughs> Soil everywhere. Ah, yes. Yeah. I do want to pack these tightly together. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. We'll loosen the bottom. Okay. Kind of. Ish. Don't fall over. Don't. Ooh. All right. Let's just take a step back. Let me just see how that looks. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. But this side of the pot is no good. You can't see it and I'm, I'm, I'm just too lazy. I'm not gonna move the camera, but there's like a whole bunch of like green, mossy discoloration on this side of the pot. What I'm thinking is this side of the pot is better, which means I need to put everything. I need to move everything. Okay. Did you know that Dracaenas are related to agaves? Yeah, neither did I, but we do now. Look at us learning together. Ooh, jeez. How does that look? Honestly, I'm kind of a little bit over this. This has been like way, way too much effort. Can't have these crossing is the thing. I'm confused now. Why is this doing this? How does that look? Does that look okay? No, that's not right. I think all of these come apart. Yes, they do. Yeah. I'm gonna take these apart and put them all back together. So there goes my, I'm not gonna really mess with the roots plan. Just come apart, just do this for me. So maybe that can stay there. Mm -mm -mm. And these two can definitely come apart. Maybe that's 
can go there. I want these roots to move. Can I chop these roots? I'm just going to do it. Chop it or break it off? I just broke it off. Oh, look at me go. Actually, I'm going to need to. Folks, this painfully goes on for about another 30 minutes, possibly longer. I'm going to spare you the boredom of seeing me absolutely lose it. And we're going to skip to the part that is so much more satisfying, arranging the succulents. So what I'm going to do is because these roots are really long and we don't want, we don't want to keep them quite shallow. I want to get this deeply padded in soil. That's what I'm trying to say. And maybe I'll just give this a little bit of room to grow. Oh gosh, that kind of looks really good. I kind of like that this is squished up against this rock here. Will it leave much room for this cluster to grow? No, but do I need it to grow? Maybe not. Does this need to be elevated a little bit more like that? Maybe that the Ben Battis gets pushed up against that a little bit more. This like keeps getting higher and higher. Just got to make a choice. Okay, I think I like this. Oh, maybe I can put like lots of little rocks around there. This is the fun part. Okay, I'm happy again. I'm having fun again. Mm. That's good. Yes, I like it. All right, here's what I've decided. This is staying, even though I thought it was gonna go because I kind of like the look of this here. However, it needs to turn a different color. So what I'm gonna do is chop off the roots and just see how it goes in this pot. But it does, it does actually look good in there. This and all the root system here. I don't know how much more of this I can chop off. I just need this to not be so disappointing. And then I feel like that can go in there. I think that looks good. All right then. All right, you can stay. So where's this barrel gonna go now? Can this barrel go anywhere? Could Benny move a little bit more this way and be like here? And then the barrel can be dug in here. All right, friends, this is what it looks like so far. I say so far because I'm not quite done with it yet. All the plants that I want in the pot are in place, but I'd like to go back to the hardware store, get some rocks for a little bit of top dressing. We will check in tomorrow. I've also just had enough. It's just gone past 7.30. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I would like to clean this up and um, move on with my life because this has taken way too long. It looks good though. I do like that. That looks like a little desert paradise. So I think I'm headed on the right track. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you in the morning. I'm not wrapping this video up yet. I will see you in the morning. morning it's the next day i am feeling so much better i was in a pretty foul mood at the end of yesterday it was getting late it was super windy and there was about five kilos of soil blowing into my eyes but um we're all good this morning i've been to the hardware store to pick up some top dressing one of you commented and said that one of the arrangements that i'd done would look better with top dressing and I agree. Now I haven't used top dressing in a while and I think it was because of the rocks that I was using and you know the the, the dressing that I had access to at my local hardware store. I, I didn't like the look of it but I feel like Bunnings have upped their top dressing game since I last had a look at what their range was or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. That could have been it. For those of you who are not in Australia, Bunnings is a really large hardware warehouse chain across Australia. I love going to Bunnings, but they probably did put a lot of Ma and Pa hardware stores out of business. So, but they're just so good. Like they have everything, except they didn't have really good top dressing for a while. I'll show you what I was using before. This is what I was working with. So this is the first gray gravel. Like it looks good when it was wet. The black stood out a little bit more, but when it was dry, it just washed out the color of the pots and the plants and it just, it just didn't look good. I just want you to focus. There we go. Gotta hide my face. And then there was this one, the pink. Like a, oh God, oops like a pale peachy pink. Again, the color just really washed out the plants. I didn't like it. And it looked too manicured. I don't like manicured succulents. I like my succulents to look good, but as I've said in my other videos, I like my succulents looking like they've just been plucked out of the desert. Beautifully arranged, but like you're kind of trying to replicate 
what they are in nature as well. So I did not like these. I didn't like these stones. And then the last ones. And I almost, I have like, I still have a full bucket of these because I just, I didn't use them. Again, like a pale green. On its own, it's a really pretty color, but just, it's just not with the plants. So that's what I was dealing with before and why I never used rock. Like I'm sure better rocks did exist somewhere in Sydney, but they certainly weren't in my local area and I'm lazy and I don't want to travel any further than like 20 minutes. 20 minutes is like the maximum I'll do. So Bunnings this morning. I have a new range of top dressing that I feel is really recent. I only noticed it like a couple of weeks ago. I bought a couple of bags of different things and um, wasn't able to open anything and have a good look at it. So I guess that we'll do that now. Luckily, it's like pretty cheap. These were like 10, 10 bucks a bag, I think. The brand is Tuscan Path. That's the brand of all the rock that I got. And this one is Decorative Lava Black. Ooh, okay, okay. Wow, I'm just dropping rocks all over my living room floor. Please focus. Thank you. Is lava rock the same as scoria? Does anyone know? I see Laura Eubanks using lava rock all the time, so I thought I'd just, I thought I'd give this a go. So that's the black lava, which is still a little bit gray, so I am suspicious that it may not work, but we'll just give it a go. And this one is the red lava. Lava red. Ooh. They're a little bit more rough looking and kind of more what you would see out in the desert, I suppose. I'm already liking these more. Yeah, these are cool. And then we have a decorative waxed dark peach. So these are a little more shiny. Still kind of cut nicely and they, they, they are big. So, I don't know. Oh, they're kind of nice, I think. They're waxed, they're a little shinier, but I like, I like. Very rough kind of looking, which is good. And then the last one, a five kilo decorative natural mixed, natural mixed. That's it, just a natural mix. Oh, I like this, I do. I do like this. Mixed pebble, I believe. That's quite nice. So what we're gonna do later is um, we'll get out there once the sun has gone over to the other side of the apartment. Our balcony is east facing, so it gets morning sun. And it's way too hot to work out there at the moment, which is why I'm always filming in the afternoon when it's so much windier. Usually in the morning, it's really calm. Everything is really still, but um, the lighting is no good for filming unless it's like six in the morning and I'm not filming myself at six in the morning. It's just not gonna happen. So we're gonna wait until a little later to do some stuff out on the balcony and then I'll show you the finished result of the large Dracaena pot arrangement. It's a little later in the afternoon. I've been messing around with some of the top dressing. I think I like it. So, eee! I just popped a few of the darker ones, the dark peach wax ones along here because I thought that they contrasted the, um, the color of the Ben Battis a lot better. I'm really liking this maybe just a little bit more of this like gravel there i think that's cute it's like a little pool we have the aeonium sunburst in all of her glory these echeveria looking pretty happy would really love for this to color up when i first got this plant i think it was a dark orange red so if you could do that for me again That'd be great. This already seems to have colored up a little bit since chopping off its roots. This Echeveria here is looking pretty happy. And then you've got the golden barrel at the back there. The Dracaena itself is looking a little bit pouty. So the all the leaves have just kind of like gone But that that's okay. This plant was indoors in the nursery and I've taken it home. I planted it up straight away without acclimatizing it to anything. It got full sun. It had its roots messed around with, but you know, it's a succulent cousin. So I'm pretty sure it'll bounce back. You will be fine. I think that looks really sweet. Holy moly. I can't stop looking at it. All right, I have to go. Another day, another video, my friends. Like, subscribe, notification bell, all the things so that we can all share in the gardening fun here on my balcony. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.